Hey there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, you can also catch us live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. But you can also click that like button, subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be notified about when we put out fresh content most days. Enjoy the show, my friends. Hey there, welcome back tonight. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back. In the mountains, my friends, and today, the daily for the 27th of December, 2022. Starting out with Pumuxium. Hey, I've got some TNT. My favorite. My favorite start an explosive. Thank you very much, game. So we're going to explore a little bit of Noita. You know, if you... Oh, it's snowing still. Is it... Right. I think the thing is, it snows all December. On Christmas Eve and Christmas... You get Santa Heesey, and something I didn't know that's been bounded about, and I was like, that's not true. But Fury, you know, Fury Forged, and Prisca have both confirmed it. Where in on Christmas, you can edit inside the tree. You know the tree over there? You can edit inside there, apparently. And I was like, uh, all this little information that we, uh, you know, collectively hear over a long period of time. I mean, the full game's been out for... You know, since... Well, the last update happened in 2021, April 23rd, so... The game's been 1.0 for at least, you know, a while before that. But I hope you've all had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you've all enjoyed... You know, I've been taking the time to... Not, like, time off, I suppose, but just time to relax a little bit more than usual. So, thank you for your patience and, you know, getting fresh content out, because the whole me uploading the... Uh, Streams for the sun run. It's not really fresh content since I've technically already done it. It's fresh for YouTube But I hope you enjoy the uh, the full streams there. I hope to be doing an edited version at some point But ah, oh, the amount of work. Oh, the ride. <laughs> I love riding the tablet sometimes like that. And we get a second one. You know, I love kicking the tablet. It's my favorite But I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and the celebrations are not over yet. We've got the new year to look forward to. New year, fresh times. Plenty of fresh nighter to be kicking away. Oh, that was a headbutt and a half. That was not a kick. That was literally a headbutt. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see that? That was pure and wonderful headwork. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, hopefully we can continue on learning things about this game. I mean, I've got 4,600 hours in this game. And I'm st we're still learning new things. Why? It's a real community game to its core, this game, since the complexity of it is so huge. I know, I've known a few people to play blind, but there's only, you know, so much you can actually do within a certain time frame, learning the game. Like, and Casey from Twitch, like, did an attempted blind playthrough. You know, learning all the lore, learning all the language of the game, deciphering everything. Oh, I don't have any wool. What's this? And it's, it's a water push oh yes <laughs> we saved our life beautiful I need HP we've already got 50 HP from the orbs but we'll see what this daily brings but as I said I hope you know you got everything you wanted for Christmas or it was just a nice one in general, you know, it took some time for yourself. And your family and friends, more importantly, of course. And had a good old time. Either relaxing or getting business done. Yeah, I didn't have a bad, like, too bad a while. I've been asleep for it mostly, because, <laughs> uh, you know, catching up with some sleep. Sleeping, like, my biggest weakness, you know, apart from all my crippling, uh, you know, problems in life you know is my sleep scheduling <laughs> I get a little bit out of sorts in my sleep schedule and it just you know ruins everything for a short period of time until we correct it a little bit get on back with business and then back on the terrible sleep schedule however at the moment on the old twitch we are currently trying to do one of the things that I don't feel has been done properly by anybody like, people have achieved negative HP in certain ways, whether that's a mod gone wrong, 
or they've had their actual current HP. Not their max HP, but you know your actual... Like, I've got 77 HP. I have 150 max HP. Like, people have had their amount of HP go minus. I've seen that, and it was pretty interesting. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Max and my diet. <laughs> we're talking... Fine, I need to buff through this. Oh, tell me it's not another dead end. Another dead end. No, we're fine. Goods. And we get in the heart anyway. That would have been a lot more hilarious if it was a mimic, to be honest. Are you going to jump over that way? No, you did. If I get water all around the... Uh... If I just leave him that. In fact, oh, wait, he's dead. I was thinking about getting all that toxic down here as well. Which, to be fair, I might as well start. Yeah, but 59 HP, that's fine, really. Well, 57. You know, who's counting, really? But at the moment on Twitch, we're trying to get negative max HP. Now, you may be aware that if you do one, I think it's a million damage in a single shot. The gods are impressed. It comes up like, you know, you know they've picked up the new magic wand when you enter a place, it, you got modifiers. It just says something. And one of those is the gods is. You know, if you do a million HP damage shot, the gods are impressed. If you destroy the holy mountain a little bit, the gods are angry. And there's various other ones. But one that is like no other is mod checked. What I mean by mod checks, if you are running mods, it can't be done. You will not get the message saying the gods are. The only one that applies to is getting negative HP. No other the gods are message is mod checked. So when you get negative HP, the game checks if you have mods running. And this isn't an achievement or anything like that. Now, the weird thing is, right, I've started this run on Twitch and one of the devs showed up on my chat. Now, Hempooli aka Arby, has been around like people's chats for a long time, but not really recently, right? So when I put on the title of my stream and everything like that, and it was Christmas, so I mean, I might be just looking too much into this, but you know, as soon as I put on the uh, title of my stream, trying to get negative HP, one of the devs showed up and actually tried to convince me that it's nothing, you know? And I was like, all right, all right. Are you trying to play me here? Like again, I am a very scared. It's the it was a bad. If he actually wants to try and convince me that uh, you know there's nothing there, he did a bad job because I'm a skeptical skeptical person by nature, right? And it means with him showing up, I'm always going to assume. Oh, two. I'm always going to assume he's trying to you know in a way play me in a good way, you know, a nice little you know back and forth. Because it's beneficial for the devs that any secrets to this game go on as long as possible. There's no real benefit earlier on for secrets being revealed. Because later on, it's like their pension plan. As soon as, you know, the longer it goes, the more people have forgotten about the game. But if you reveal secrets, you get a second wind of advertisement. So... The longer it goes, the more potent that advertisement is for the game. Like, oh my god, a mystery that's not been solved for 10 years, kind of deal. You know what I mean? And that holds a lot of power. So maybe Hempooli was just like... <laughs> Ooh. Hempooli was just trying to, you know, encourage me not to ruin everything. However, this is a mystery. Because getting negative HP is not easy. We're currently trying to do what Priskip did, but in a little bit of a different way. Priskip and various other people have made worm farms. Now... You might have seen Dunk or Slam and his YouTube video and his worm farming, his HP worm farm, I should say. Now, that's all well and good, right? Dunk did a great job on his worm farm, but you have not seen, and I hope to convince Priskip to, you know, get content out there that's just not on Twitch, you know, either whether it's here on LSG or on his own YouTube channel, kind of deal. To actually show people the greatness of his own worm farm. It's basically like a power plant. Now, I managed to make one of my own versions of it, you know, through a few simple steps from Priskip. It was kind of handy because Priskip only told me a little bit, like, the gen the basic general functionings of how to do it. So I'm kind of making my own version in a way. 
which is a good thing, since mine and his will deviate in potential and outcome. TNT needs a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I hope to, you know, get enough HP on the floor that we do the heart, do the heart mage trick, and then pick up thousands of HP at a time in one go, in one big go. Because what Priscip did, he kind of slowly built up his HP, and the problem is your HP will go infinite, just like your gold will at a certain point, and you won't be able to break it any further. So I am theorizing that you might need to shock the system instead of a gradual HP increase. Like, you might need to do it all in one big go instead of, you know, little bits. So that's what we're doing on the stream at the present time. I don't know how long that run will go, so make sure you don't miss it over on twitch.tv. Forward slash let us simple together over the next few days. It could it could go till the end of the year, because what we're learning about building worm HP power plant farms. You know, especially if I don't actually ask for answers. Because I could just copy Priskip's homework. But the more I get into it, the more I'm learning myself and kind of, you know, the more we're learning on stream. And the more I kind of want to learn it all myself, you know. Because a lot of the time, you can get lazy and just ask for the answer. But not this time. Not this particular thing. Mainly because Hempuli showed up and it's like, alright, if this is the mystery of all mysteries, you know. And it does connect to some of the other mysteries, maybe. It could do. I mean, the cauldron might be called the altar of permanence. So having negative HP might be a way of the game assuming you have permanent status. You can't be killed. Maybe. I don't know. There's a, a few theories around. Either way. This daily, I mean, we've got one HP from this floor, so I'm kind of happy already. We've, you know, got some extra terrible, terrible shots. We get to kick Scully, but we also have bolts and two broken ones. So, not bad. Oh, that's four points. That was easily four points. Hit the roof, though, which I'm never normally happy about, but it is what it is. It wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. Okay. Right, no more. I'm not happy with that one. That was my fault. Let's play this normally like a normal person. Oh, I can still get shot by a shotgunner. I just can't get shot and whipped by them. And we'll try not. To. Yeah, I don't particularly need the money from that big green dude. Just wondering if there's any more HP around. Of course. But starting out with Flamuxium, what does the game thinking, you know? Whoever needs the Flamuxiums. And it's not something I really wanted. Luckily we found that water potion and we can go on in big and convenient ways. But I'll tell you what, I'm looking for a, you know, looking forward to a brand new year. Have some good nitrant and... Hopefully some good announcements some some good announcements and some good new roguelike games. We've got Hades coming next year. Hades 2, I should say. And for the person who asked in the comments, since I actually <laughs> unfortunately never got around to actually ask, answering it, even though it's just a simple, you know. Yeah. I did play a bit of Hades, I never completed it, but I did play it. You know, I, I played up to the and not the end fight, but I met, you know, Hades and said hello. And I got the shit kicked out of me. And, uh, I'll take that. Hmm. Hmm. If I get unlimited. I, I want to get things so I have, you know, options later on. I want to give myself options to do crazy things. Glass cannon, anybody? Hmm. I'll tell you what, that second wand always cast looks sexy. Oh, it is. That is beautiful. I'll run, I'll run with that. Uh, uh, do we try and this is basically you know the Christmas episode <laughs> since I didn't do uh, you know one Christmas or Boxing Day or anything like that this is basically the Christmas episode we have no Santa he see but it was snowing outside so I could try and become you know a Christmas Mushroom King 
I always get baited into trying to do mushroom lifestyle choices, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what, though. If we did a, if we were able to become the Mushroom King, it would be great to show you all for the daily today that you are able to go Mushroom Kinging around the place and everyone else could go and enjoy. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> it's also highly dangerous, so I kind of like the concept of it just at its core. You know, I'm not one to back away from, you know, everything. I'm not sure I need these to make this go. God damn. If I get a mana with this and then able to put on... Hold on. When it runs out of mana, look at that rate of fire also. Woo! So I don't need to ever stop, really. But for now... Burp. Getting a burt one right away in the daily, though. Nice. Yeah, that's, that slows it down. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, enough of that. Let's make some moves. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Everything else I'll just, you know, sort out at another point. I could, since I do have spare Lumi drills. Hmm. Could put a Lumi drill on a wand so I can go digging. Hmm. That one specifically, maybe. Hmm. Do I spend 300, though, to have the ability to dig when I've already got explosives? <sighs> They're cool. Because there's not much... Like, we're talking about fungal there. Fungal digging, where there's a, a bit of metal around for once and stuff like that. Yeah, it'll be worth it. Even if it's not worth it. Ah, the problem is, are you going to make me do two? Nah, I'll slowly dig, you know. Slow digging isn't that painful, you know. More just a little bit tedious. HP, anyway. Oh, it's wet in it. It's very wet. Which is kind of good, considering the mushrooms. Mushrooms will automatically explode if they're on fire. HP down here, maybe? Nah, that's not the place. Yeah, the mushroom is just gonna chill. Oh, someone's got a wand. A dude parkouring around the place. Yeah, I love a good bird. Whoa! <laughs> the mushroom body. Yeah, the mushrooms would probably one tap me. And this is the daily, so, you know. Ah, the one's down here. Dude got crushed. He drowned, maybe. Ah, drilling. Yeah, I'll take that. It's good drill. Whoa, yeah. Nice, majestic drilling. Also, cash money. So I get to, you know, get my money back from the Luma drill. Although it's less about the money and more about the resource itself. We can go anywhere we want, do anything. Heal anybody. Especially since there's a lot of water around it, you can actually, you know, destroy the water. But it will still leak water. It's really weird that you can destroy these. They actually take damage until they're destroyed, but they don't stop leaking water. Really weird. It makes no sense. Like, I, I assume the intent behind the devs was to stop these from producing water once they were destroyed. They just made a mistake and never got around fixing it. That would be my prediction. I don't know what you all think about that, but... Yeah, let me know down in the comments. Was it a fuck-up, or was it just, you know, intentionally just a, there to annoy you? You know, it's a bio-modifier, you know? Can't be getting rid of bio-modifiers now. You can't unmodify the bio. Otherwise, what's that point? Nothing here. Apart from some good money. I want to get me my fungals. 
well, one, I want to get me more HP. Hence why I want to go to the front. Interestingly slow. 3.07 recharge time. No, thank you. I can do without that. Yeah, that mushroom is going to live forever. If I can get slime blood, that'd be quite nice. Since a lot of mushrooms around generally breed a lot of slime. But again, I want a mana. A mana and... Oh, HP. Very nice. Yeah, if I can leave here with 300, which ain't going to happen probably, but... Unless I spent half an hour here searching every nook and cranny. Which I'm not going to do. I've got other business to attend to, thank you. I always thought there should have been hearts in here sometimes, you know. Just those boxes, what's the point in a box of powder without anything in it? Apart from just to be an irritant. I suppose that is it really, isn't it? You know? Just to be an irritant. Oh dear. Another heart in here? Is it? No, there's something floating in there, I'm not sure if it's a heart. But... No, I'm just a bad person. Bad all around fella. There's no point. No point going that way. There's a big wall in the way. Burp, burp. Ah. I'm very glad my sparkies can't destroy the uh, mushrooms. Otherwise, I probably would have been exploded already. Yeah, let's go fungal. You know, through different ways. <laughs> I don't want to go places I've been already. That'd be kind of useless. Oh, that was not smart. What the? Its own chain should not have detonated it. Did I kick it so hard that the chain it was holed up by detonated the actual explosive? That's how it looked like. That's incredibly rude. Hmm. It's not cricket, is it? Ah, mushroom. Hang on. Yeah, mushrooms get this. Uh, sorry, enemies get distracted by the mushrooms as well. So there are fringe benefits to becoming mushroom king slowly over time. Yeah, the water modifying biome brings those green boots with their lanterns. They produce a special type of water. If you if you shift water, ooh, yeah, get lava, mate. Do it. They produce a special type of water that if you shift water, their type of water they produce won't be shifted away, leading to some theories about, you know, if you know alchemy, that it might be permanent water. Don't know, probably not though. It's probably just another oversight, maybe. Who knows? In a game as complex as this, it could be anything. Ah, I mean, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't need TNT. Oh, you bastard. There's a lot of water around. Not again, never again. I'll choose to go a different way. Yeah, I wanted to explore this area because I knew I couldn't later. It's going to be flooded. And I don't like being flooded in. I've got no breathless. So I've got no way of traversing my teleport quickly. But let's see what we can do. 132. Those precious HP points. Well. Yeah. Are you aiming at my mushroom? No. I'd prefer you didn't try and kill my mushrooms. Nope. Generic green, terrible wand. Not a fact. 
but all you do when you shoot them is leak more water around the place. It's terrible. So it's counterproductive to shoot. Almost. Yeah, you got. I heard you want water with your water, so there you go. Well, I've got you more water, right? That's the way it's going down. It seems with the water pipes. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough money to reroll several times. If I can just get one HP out of here, I'll be happy. Oh, the electric will. I don't know that's, that's what it's all doing around. New stone, maybe. Well, everything's happening because of the mushrooms here. I like it. Mushrooms doing me a good service. Letting me know the enemy is there also, because again, if the enemy shoots, they are going to be shooting at the mushrooms and I'm going to be spotting them early. Hmm. Hey, a plasma, considering it pierces. Yeah, I'll leave the loomy drill there. Uh, and if I need it, I'll go back for it. Yeah, pheromone? Uh, I don't... Oh, there you go. I don't really need it. Right, we've already... Uh, ow! That was my own mushroom. Popping my face off. Because of the fire of the oil from the mechanical mushroom explosion was going to happen. You see the range of it as well. Pretty brutal. I just want a quick, nice, singular HP. Be thrown my way. Again. Yeah, I'm just going to let these mushrooms do their job. Mainly because payday. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Ooh, dear me. Interesting. But ultimately, I don't think I'll need it. Yeah. Do we pour a lot of soil out and help us block anyone coming through there? Oh, a lot of money down there as well. There's no fire in there. <laughs> You've got to watch out for the fire. That's pretty much... Oh, well, lava as well, I suppose. You have to watch out for them. Those particular things. Being, you know, an attempted mushroom kill is not easy. But if you survive the initial Sorty Seeps, I learnt what Sorty Seeps was the other day. I actually, it was YouTube Shorts. It was just you know, like telling you exactly what it was and how terrifying it was. And yeah, I agree. Very terrifying. There's still a frog in there, though. You could still. Oh, yeah, you could still do 10 damage rapidly, very fast, causing him to do hundreds of damage. Because of the way they actually hurt you. Kind of weird. <laughs> well, the acid could blow up the mushroom, I suppose. Yeah, okay, what is all this trying? Not a fan. That audio. At least we have a way out. Ah, oh, you could have given me some HP though. That's rude. Highly rude game. Close one. I think we can leave very soon. Although we haven't been given that many ones. Been given enough, I suppose. Nothing I have the right to complain at. Yeah, I think we're all good. If we exit through the darkness anyway. Feel like we're exploring a little bit more <laughs> before we get out of here. Why are my mushroom friends not attacking the alchemist? Well, 
he may have his school of mushrooms. And we shall see if we can get a second mushroom perk. Verisal. Oh, it's teleport. Hmm. No, we do not get a second mushroom perk unless we want to reroll. And of course, we could. We could do many a thing. Hmm. And we should. Concentrated is, is just damage. Homunculus will probably get you killed. An item radar? No. <laughs> Extra life wouldn't be so bad considering Mushroom King status. Uh. But I do have a lot of money. And working the rerolls early. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Are you going to make me bankrupt before I even have a chance? Right, I might need about 600 money. I might just take, you know, Revenge Tentacle. A monstrous tentacle upon taking damage, you gain 25% resistance against projectiles. Sweet. We'll take some weird things. Try and get a little bit weirder along the way. Hmm. I don't think that poison arc could have activated. Ah, uh, if it had more sustain, say I had a mana on it. I don't mind the drill. Sen, could the drill actually kill the mushroom? Because at the moment, the spark bolt isn't killing the mushroom. I think the drill might actually do drill damage to the mushroom. And if I'm going close to enemies, it might backfire. Hmm. We definitely have a nice loaded out inventory. Waiting for several other things to arrive. And teleport being one of them now. Means if we find anything in the uh... hmm, I have no ambrosia, but we do have teleport. I'm thinking about a bridge boss kill, which generally I don't do on the daily because it's very dangerous, especially with that ambrosia. Well, I would definitely like some mana because even though it's good when this runs out. That's why it's not good. But the weapon is still... It's sliding... Fun the weapon is still functional, right? Well, have I nerfed this slightly? Yeah. Because it's on a shuffle. The more multicasts on it, the better it was going to be. So me taking a multicast off. Alright. You see how... The combination... Uh, combination of, uh, you know, Sorry Seeps, Revenge Tentacle. Yeah, maybe it's the best combination we've ever seen, you know. <laughs> no one's just ever done it. No one's, you know, thinking. Yeah, I might just get rid of Drill. Well, neither of these are non-shuffle ones, which is really annoying. Because I might need the trigger later as well. But I don't really need the drill. I don't need the wand. This would do better at, you know, everything. I saved the drill in my inventory anyway. What is that? Wand? Nope. So I could... Go the real problem is I don't have homing. I could try and get plasma beam onto hit boss. But it's not a guaranteed fight. And I, you know, when you're fighting in Noito, one of the ways I... Oh, what? All I did was kick it. Like, all I did when it jumped on me was press the kick button because I wanted to kick the ice. Maybe I did kick the ice and that caused massive, you know, catastrophic damage. I don't think I just kicked the mushroom to death that easily. I 
was with all the energy orbs. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I just don't need that many. I've been given every type of energy orb. Ah. Problem, that's... Yeah. Probably gonna destroy it. Oh, the worm look. If we can drink it, we should. There we go. I do. How did you even get an angle? Oh, right, I see. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'll sort you. Whoa! Again, the mushroom explosives with sword of is one of the reasons why I wanted to find a certain amount of HP in the previous biome. He couldn't decide what to shoot at, whether it was me or the mushroom. The ultimate distraction technology. Me and me mushrooms. Well, don't let that drop. Yep. <laughs> no need for the propane anymore. Priorities of the moment is learning the uh, distance I need to be away from my mushrooms and not to get exploded by them. As you saw before, it's a considerable distance. You know what I'm gonna do? If we don't kill Pit Boss, I'm at least gonna go and smash and grab some orbs. What? Toxic messy. I don't really want to engage in fighting here. Oh, I shall just, you know, get in and out. Use me worm blood to me advantage. Try not to come across any wa any sentient wand ghosts that are holding a wand. And smash and grab. Well, snatch and grab. Smash and grab. Yeah. Smash or pass. Well, in Noia, since you're constantly moving on, you're smashing and passing, I suppose. You know, and destroying everything. And smashing into bits, and then you move on. Isn't that a smash and pass? Yeah, take on that little, uh, yeah, hey. what's, what's the most pussy explosion I've ever seen? But I am redeem. I am going to redeem myself. I've been dying a hell of a lot recently in dailies and all sorts of ways. And but I am going to redeem myself, not only in this run, all right, but also by getting negative HP. Oh, Co, how are you doing, bro? It will be the wonderfulest redemption because you know, of all the times I've died and made a fool of myself in dying, which is obviously you know it happens to everybody. Everybody dies, and not yet. All the time. However, I'm kind of, it's happening too frequently, and I need some sort of redemption that is beyond no hit runs. Even though our no hit runs are legendary. One of those things that the negative HP is just one of those. Uh, no one knows how it's done when it comes to no hit runs. You know how it's done. You don't get hit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't get hit, bro. That's a no-hit run. But in the negative HP space, negative HP conundrum, we have no idea how it's done. So the only way to go about it is just do it, right? Just try it. Yeah, blow them up. I'm not a fan of these two mushrooms lingering around, but I'll see a man about a, see a man about a want. I want to get down to easy base. Probably as soon as possible since I had the two broken ones and we could, uh, you know, live our life well off those two ones, I'm assuming. Also, we have enough for another reroll down below. Hopefully, affecting our build in wonderful ways because I might just go 
Have a bit of a funky build day, you know? Not take any immunities, just take stupid things. That kind of thing. See what wonderful things we can get achieved. Hopefully by not being exploded. Mmm. I mean, yeah, in a way. I see what you're trying to do that game. <laughs> Very accurate. Um... Very deadly one. Very slow and methodical. Bringing many balls to the yard. Ah, I wanted that money. It was a big chunk, a big lump sum. Now. I'm very glad on that wand that the uh, orbs aren't piercing, you know? Uh, sorry, they aren't, like, triggered or anything like that. Ah, saying that, even if they were triggered, it wouldn't matter. On an always cast, a trigger can't have the always cast on it. The thing that is being triggered, sorry, can't have the thing that is being always cast. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, it's a bit of a contradiction. My revenge tentacle is going to hurt me mushrooms. Causing me great pain if I get hurt around them. So it is more a classical test of will, you know. Interesting. Glass cannon, anybody? <laughs> hmm. Oh, homing. Might not be able to reroll if I get that. Oh, oh dearie me. Thank you very much. We could go with the Revenge Explosion. Oh, that'll... Right. Revenge Tentacle is like Revenge Explosion, because they're both revenge. Having both? Sounds like a run, doesn't it? Not only tentacles, but explosions as well. We get a 25% resistance against explosions. However, considering if I get hit around my mushrooms, I will def definitely set them off where a tentacle might not set them off. But we're getting good resistances, you know. It's, it's a fine example of a run, this. We've got a perk lottery for later. I don't think I'll mess about too much. Because I think this is a highly perk-related run. And I, don't, I don't think it's going to take much more discovery. To make a really decent end show of things, shall we say, you know. The run always gets a little uh, spicy. At its conclusion. The thing is, I'm still just using this wand. There's nothing else I can really do. I mean, the shuffle wand on that, I could, you know, throw in a few things here and there, like this. It's trash. I mean, sometimes it'll fire. Hello. How you doing, mate? Could go with a home and mushroom. Thing is, it won't always home, but. Hmm. Not sure why it's being so trash, actually. Considering. It doesn't need all those Luma Drills on. Ah, maybe that was a secret. Too many Luma Drills. It can happen. And we've still got our piercing. So if anyone comes at me viciously, we can teach them. Teach them a lesson. What did we do with our teleport one before? Regardless, we still got the bird. That's all you ever need in life sometimes. Good and honest bird. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I mean? Even if it is slow, we can try and speed it up a little bit with the lumen. Oh, it's a shuffle, so it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what, yeah. And check out Piercing Mushroom, everybody. You're welcome. Piercing Mushroom time for my sword receives. Now, I can't use it in confined areas. Especially areas above me. 
But I think that's going to turn into primary. Where Burt wand. We can, oh, for fuck's sake. That's actually fine to use right now. So, home and Burt. Oh, home and Burt wand. I've been blessed, my friends, with the ability to produce magic in a good way. Because the Burt, the mushroom Burt, is um, destroying everything. In significant ways. Um, I don't think I've ever done a homing. Ah, it's not. It's been a long time if I have. Oh, dear. Yeah. I like how medic is keeping. Oh, I don't have explosion immunity, so. I'm sorry. Yeah. I've got to really watch out for any damage source. Whoa, what the fuck is this one? Have you ever seen that type of one before? What? I mean, I'm in, ter in terms of the actual wand graphic, it looks so odd. Just feels out of place. Well, the multi bur, multi mushroom bur. Pleased with that one. But what I want, oh, medic. What I want to do is basically get in and out after having achieved what I want here. Which is the uh, the old broken ones. Also, do you not feel now that a non-shuffle is the best thing we can take if we find it? Again, these mushrooms, even if we do have 25% resistance against their explosions, can still wipe me out. I'm not immune to anything, so the fire and explosions from the mushrooms can do me great harm. Uh, we have double medic if we uh, play our cards right. Double bird. <laughs> Hold on. Beautiful. Oh dear. I am. I do. Right, I do not care what anyone says, whether I get all three mushroom perks or not. This wand has made me the Mushroom King, right? I found the crown in the gutter, and I picked it up with my sword. And it was the people that put it on my head. <laughs> right, and that's the day I became the Mushroom King. <laughs> Again, any time I'm near a pheromone is really dangerous, because my revenge explosion... Any time I take damage, I explode. Ooh, I think we'll have to take that on general principle. Oh, that was stupid. Is it though? Is Medic gonna... No, he's not gonna get out. He's... Now, my own mushrooms can wipe me out. But the good thing is... My mushrooms... Ooh! My mushrooms can tag my own... Revenge mushrooms. Well, my sword is seems so I should say. Not revenge mushrooms. Maybe there should be revenge mushrooms. Maybe I've stumbled across something great then. That was a wrong time in the wrong place, mate. But a very good little one we got from the puzzle. If we get tricked blood money as well, mushrooms is a trick kill. <laughs> Ah, it's so beautiful. That it doesn't even need to directly hit the target, you know? Oh, right, I'm on fire. That makes sense. Oh, another shuffle. Another non shuffle. Let's get me uh, water on me. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure I need both of these. All the... Yeah, I'm fine with it. More mana equals more big goodies. And I think I've found... Even though... Th right, this is a shuffle wand, and this is producing the results. It always pierces. So if my mushroom ever hits the target, it will produce many mushrooms. For every frame, this mushroom touches... And that's an odd one. 
that a mushroom in flight acts like a trigger for itself, right? That's a weird one. Why, that's just weird. It's not even hitting a target, it's multiplying. What? Oh, oh, that's two mushrooms. But they both produce two more. Is the mushroom hitting itself with the piercing? That's just odd, you know? It's, like I say, it's acting like a trigger that's pierced. This is just odd. I don't get it. In a good way, though. I'd like to see that with an add trigger on it, you know? Ooh, bubble. That might be a reroll again. I could go for no more knockback, but... There's nothing there I particularly want. Same here, actually, in the uh, shopping. Oh, slime blood! There's gonna be a lot of slime around, because, you know, things. Might as well. Oh, it's gonna be Angry God situation if I don't get the fuck out of him. There's spiders in me holy mountain, waiting. This is good enough to win the game now. It has to be. If they start moving, we're screwed. But we're not, because I can kill Steve quite easily. Now, should I have done anything with this wand system? Yeah, I probably should have. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to be using this to win the day anyway. Whoa. Ow. Yeah, luckily my revenge explosion will take care of business sometimes. Beautiful. Yeah, well, my mushrooms need to take care of business a bit more. My offensive mushrooms. That was a good start. There we go. It's the Right, it's not even the explosion of the mushroom itself. It's the amount of spores that get created from the mushroom. It's incredible. I'm wondering if we could kill Dragon with this. Like, if it hits him directly... I don't see why not, you know? But I can also see it failing miserably. I think we go try. I think, you know, I, I, we put this wand... Because call me isn't a test. Right? By the time we get down to call me, we've seen enough other things that we can adapt this wand. To be call me proof up to a certain point. But Dragon is one of the first other major tests... How could it, like, looking at it, I bet nearly everybody right now looking at it would be like, oh, that's killing dragon easy. And you would be right, it should do, right? The amount of flak alone. And not to mention the explosive element in the mushrooms. The only real question is, would dragons survive long enough to hit me with his melee? Since it's not a melee immunity. That'd be a valid coin. <laughs> Beautiful. Again, the Mushroom King does not need no perks to tell him that you're king. Oh dear. <laughs> Luckily, I killed him with uh, alternative things anyway, like my revenge explosion and my tentacle revenge. Like, I want to hit a target so badly. I, I need a non-shuffle version of this and a more higher rate of fire version. I'll tell you what, repulsion with this would be sexy because the repulsion would make sure that we push away the flak and the mushroom itself. Right now. It was unwarranted. Although we do have big targets. Oh, nice. Now this went from zero to about 18. You know? <laughs> Pretty fucking quick. I could go grab the money down there, but there's still people. And the flak just... Also, there's going to be a lot of plants around as well, right? This flak generates plants. Plant life that, you know, spawns around. These flak act like seeds. So we're just, uh, you know reforming the world. That's what we're doing, really. But I haven't... 
look at it. I've not actually taken that much damage, considering, you know. Oh, beautiful. Again, the homing, the short range homing on this as well, something I haven't spoken about yet, is doing savagely well. I'll wait for him to jump, and then get him. jump. Oh, is it because I've got more love on? Yeah, if I've got a singular more love, maybe some of them won't attack me. My actual swordy seeps in itself has kind of become redundant, almost. That's how you clear out a place. Mushroom style. A bit different from hamster style, but, uh, you know. You should never use hamster style anymore. Not if you promise your father you never should. <laughs> uh, you might understand that reference, you might not. Uh, Dan, I'm not going to use hamster style no more. <laughs> uh, this can, even this shuffle one obviously can be improved though. And this is its most basic form, considering what we're doing. Ooh. It's annoying because I'm slowly getting rid of all my good ones. Yeah, I don't need to teleport anyway. It's just a sound it makes as well. It sounds like it means business. Baron Hall! How did I just heal? What? Oh, because I picked up this one and I haven't. Yeah. I right, get okay. more healing because I've got one experiment. Again, even though it didn't touch the enemy. Like a one. Like a one. Oh dear. Well, that was always going to be a problem, and I did kind of see that problem coming. However, my friends, I kind of don't mind dying here because showing you the potential of that wand, hopefully, what I'm hoping in the daily, that wand that you get from that puzzle is exactly the same. You're definitely going to be able to get the mushrooms. So, my friends, I do ask you from here, you will have to continue the mushroom quest yourselves. And you will have to finish this for me. I made a glaring error and mistake fighting. I knew close-range combat was bad. I said it in the Ah, uh, But it is what it is. I will not shy away from hunting down the most terrible creatures. And you will have to do it yourselves. But let me know how it goes. If you do play the daily, thank you for taking the time to enjoy the content. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together. We stream at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Suffer Together. Again, we're doing... And we're going to be hunting after. So even if this singular run I'm doing at the moment where we're trying to get negative HP with the worm, heart, farm, power plant, wand, extravaganza, um, heart mage, overflow, doesn't work, we'll still be trying to find other ways to try and get negative HP. So... Yeah, that might be us for the not foreseeable future, but we're definitely going to be on that in, in that way. So, thank you for taking the time to enjoy the content. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and, you know, holiday season, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy, you know. And thank you to everybody who takes the time to not only watch the content, but also contribute in whatever way you can. 
down in the description there's plenty of ways you can help or places for other content and links and just things you know buttons to press but thank you to everybody who smashes buttons you know i appreciate it i'll be i'll be back tomorrow you take it easy my friends like i said on the daily i don't mind dying as long as i show something cool show something a little bit cool that you can go into the daily now thinking hey i've all right i haven't been spoiled on all of it but i know where certain bitching things are you know and i'm not gonna miss them so get that piercing wand try and find yourself a no more shuffle build a monster my friends for your dead boy lst lying on the ground at least the worm died right if i'm gonna be taken out i gotta take out the thing that actually the worm didn't take me out i died by explosion <laughs> Uh, that was an ill-advised shot. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take it easy. Much love. Peace.